This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Good Friday to you, Megan Thompson, with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. And a reminder, it is a weather action day with a winter storm moving through Arizona. ADOT asking you to prepare for rain and snow as we head into the Christmas weekend. Reminding drivers to leave plenty of brake distance between other vehicles and budget for extra time. If you're heading to the high country, dress for cold weather and have an emergency prep kit ready to go. Police identifying the driver who died after she collided with a Phoenix police cruiser. Investigators say 19 year old Ashley Valis blew through a red light, slamming into the patrol car near 35th Avenue in Thunderbird. The officer and a prisoner in the cruiser were taken to the hospital, but they are expected to be OK. As you prepare to gather with friends and family for the holidays, Keep in mind, respiratory viruses, they are on the rise. According to the Arizona Department of Health Services, flu cases are up 161% in Arizona compared to a typical season. And the CDC says more than half of the states report high or very high flu activity, with Arizona and surrounding states among those with high activity. We are on our border watch, too, as two key people in the Biden administration prepare to head to the southern border. President Biden is sending Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, as well as Secretary of State Antony Blinken, as an influx of migrants continue to flood the border with up to 10,000 crossing daily. Merry Christmas, everyone. We're hopping in Santa's sleigh to check out some of the biggest and best holiday light displays in the valley. Up first, zoo lights at the Phoenix Zoo. Featuring nearly 4 million lights, hundreds of dazzling displays, brand new wildlife lanterns, and the return of the tallest floating tree in North America. All aboard! It's full speed ahead this Christmas season. Chug along and cover all your tracks to the holiday lights at McCormick Stillman Railroad Park in Scottsdale. Just riding the train, you know, first and foremost is an experience in itself. Now when you do it at night, and you add, you know, millions of lights to it, it just kind of changes the whole atmosphere and the vibes of the park itself. Desert Farm Lights in the West Valley is decking the halls this holiday season with over a million lights on display. Desert Farm Lights is an immersive walk through Christmas experience. There's nothing like it for 40 miles in any direction. For three decades now, Glendale Glitters has been ringing in the season for the West Valley. Enjoy all the lights at Murphy Park with free admission. Let's jingle all the way. Now in its 14th year, Christmas at the Princess is putting on a holiday light show that's sure to dazzle. We have two ice skating rinks that you can't miss. My favorite part of Christmas at the Princess. They're both real ice, outdoor, 6,000 square feet. It's fun for the whole family. A 94-foot Ferris wheel, an 84-foot musical tree, and that's just getting started. Each year we add something new and we perfect on old favorites. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? Spanning nearly 12 acres, the Free Mesa Temple Christmas lights display is back. Oh gosh, how many lights do we have? We have no idea. And finally, let's buckle up for this cosmic sleigh ride. World of Illumination is a drive through Christmas light experience you can see from the comfort of your warm car, offering locations in both Tempe and Glendale. Looking for even more lights and weekend events? Head on over to our website at abc15.com slash things to do. Reporting in Phoenix, Zach Perry, ABC 15 Arizona. Zach, thank you. It was one beer brewed by many to support the people of Maui, and the world came together to raise a glass. You may remember Valley Breweries like Hus Brewing teamed up to create a beer in collaboration with Maui Brewing Company to help the victims of those devastating fires. We learned Cocoa Pale Ale raised more than one and a half million dollars for relief efforts. A flood watch in place today, tonight, into early tomorrow morning as we anticipate widespread rain to move in across our state, including here in the valley, with as much as an inch to an inch and a half possible around the Phoenix metro area. The bulk of that coming today, but we could still see some showers that add to those amounts as we go into tomorrow. That flood watch again in place all day today. We are in weather action mode as we track a storm system that's bringing this chance for showers all day. While we may see some lulls in the action at times, there will be that chance for showers all day long. A few thunderstorms will be possible will too here in the valley. Better chances for thunderstorms over the higher terrain. Those snow levels stay fairly high in the morning and then they start to drop tonight and through the weekend and we could see maybe one to three inches of snow in spots along the rim, including Flagstaff. 40 for a high today in Flagstaff down to 64 in Phoenix. Much cooler than yesterday's record setting warmth that was in the upper 70s. We'll stay cool in the low to mid 60s through the weekend. Rain chances start to wind down on Sunday and then we're dry by Christmas Day. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head on over to ABC15.com or download the free ABC15 mobile app.
This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.